Today got some of these uh, Glock OEM style extended magazine release. Ordered a couple of these from Big Tex Ordnance, first order from them, and really happy with the speed of the shipment. And they put a copy of the Constitution in the order shipment, and there was some candy in there. So Big Tex Ordnance, uh, good place to get everything you need that they got. I am left-handed, so a lot of times I'm engaging the mag release with my index finger. I find that sometimes I have to press this magazine release, uh, switch my grip to try to get the mag out. This is a for Gen 3 Glock, so sometimes if you put your thumb on this other side that comes out too, that can block your magazine release. So anyways, um, just to get a comparison here, the factory magazine release is pretty much flush with where the contour starts for the uh, pistol grip. So this is pretty straightforward to get these in. Just one little steel spring inside of here we have to move aside. So first thing is get your slide off, make sure your, your firearm is cleared. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. So it's right, it's right here. Once you take your slide off, you'll see exactly where it is. When you move the magazine release, you'll see it moving. So there's essentially a little groove. There's essentially a little groove right here. And that steel, just a single um, piece of steel spring is just sitting right in there. So what I like to do first is get this hook tool and go in and push that to the side and out. Alright, so got that out and just sort of clicks out, takes a little bit of force. I got it on the third little push there. If I put these side to side, you can see there it's about a quarter inch and the Glock OEM, it's going to match. Everything's going to be the same fit and finish. So once you get the... Uh, old one out you just pop it back in the same direction that it came out so just hold the spring back and there's a couple ways to do that my hook happened to be on the back of the spring see where my finger is it's just that little piece of steel spring so um, the other way to do it is put the when you're when you're installing the new magazine release, you just get this small blade uh, flathead and then just push it forward and then slide. You'll be able to slide in the new magazine release, and you can already see how much you can already see it sticking up. So the last step here is I like to use just a, a medium sized flathead and without marring up the inside too much. I mean, these, these clocks are made out of plastic, so it's almost ine inevitable, but just uh, putting this in, pushing against the spring and then popping it back into place. So let's see if I can get that. All right, so simple as that. And it helps to use the leverage from this side of the pistol grip. And if you're not too rough, you won't really get any damage. So that is uh, fully installed. Now, one thing I noticed, the way that my grip is, my index finger from my other hand, when I'm pushing down, will dig into this uh, extended magazine release. So the last step for me is I'm just going to hit the corners with a file. And I like to leave the slide off when I do that and try to be careful. It's usually just two or three passes with the file and it just, this plastic just uh, rounds out and it becomes perfect. So I'll show you that for, so you can take, this is just like a medium, medium to fine. And if you're really worried about marring your, um, your frame, you can use a piece of plastic. And really, I'm just going to hit the edge there. 
but if you're careful, you're not going to do much damage. Now, you can't overfile this very easily, so I would just start slow, do a few passes, feel it out, and then you can check, keep checking it. And then the, the four sides, I also just do like a small pass on each. And all right, so now I can't even really notice it. Maybe just a tiny bit more. Perfect. So it's just uh, rounded out a little bit, a little chamfer on the edges. And if you have that issue like I do where you push the meat of your finger into it and I mean it's not going to cut or anything. It's I have been blistered, you know, day out shooting uh, multiple hours and uh, it, can, it can cause a blister but no big deal. So a couple passes with the file and really nice, good looking, OEM looking and uh, better functionality. Last thing here, just do a function check and I can get a much better purchase on that without having to change my grip further back. So anyways, that's the OEM style. I did try the Vickers. And I think I tried one other one, and none of them work as well as the OEM style. I think they're $5, $6. And if you order from Big Tex, hey, Big Tex will give you some candy and a copy of our uh, wonderful Constitution. So final word on these is uh, make sure you know what generation you're ordering, because the Gen 4s and the G43s and the G21s and the bigger Glocks, um, they, they all have a different style of extended magazine release so just pay attention to what you got uh, before you order that way you make sure you order the right thing uh, this is my gen 3 g17 uh, i think i have another video on this i put the Terran mag uh, i think this is the carry magwell pretty happy with that hogue overgrip on this with the beaver tail there's a style without the beaver tail but i find that on some Glocks, um, I sometimes the uh, slide will cut the webbing between my thumb and my index finger, so this helps a little bit. Part of that is just, you know, getting the grip right and not letting the grip ride too high, but for some reason my left hand likes to ride pretty high with a smaller frame Glock. So anyways, I got the another video on the uh, fiber optic Dawson sights on this, and it's a real sweet shooter. Really uh, not too much money to make it, you know, just exactly how I like it. You know, sights are $60, $5 magazine release, $10 grip. Um, the Terran, I don't remember how much this was, maybe $40. And really uh, comes out nice. So please do subscribe to the channel. We really do appreciate your support.